God is good all the time. Blessed is the one who trusts in God. Cast to you if you trust in man. These are the words of Prophet Jeremiah to his people. I know each and every one of us long to be blessed. And it comes with responsibility. It comes with responsibility. And from our readings of today, we are being encouraged, each and every one of us, to always, always seek the face of God. Always trust Him. It's when you'll have that opportunity to be with Abram, Lazarus, in heaven. The contrariness, you'll find yourself in head, in hell, where there is torment. Prophet Jeremiah is talking to these people and telling them, my dear ones, there are two things involved. Always trust in God. Because amongst them, there were some people who trusted in themselves because of what they owned, because of the observance of the law, and they counted themselves that they were righteous ones and others were the neglected one. But that one should not be the case. We have always to trust in God in our undertaking. And for us to do this, we have to manifest it in our day-to-day -day relationship with our brothers and sisters, and especially the destitute, the poor, the needy. And this one we see from our gospel of today. I know most of us are conversant with this parable of the rich and the Lazarus. It's a warning, it's a solemn warning to each and every one of us Christians that we have to be sensitive to the plight of the poor. We have to be close to those people who need our help. The moment you close your eyes, the moment you disregard them, you are counted as cast one. And where will be your place? Where this rich man is today. He's in a place of torment where he's crying, where he's lamenting and even asking the Lazarus to come and help him. The man whom he neglected when he was in this world. You know, look at his life. We are told he's a rich. Even his name, we are not told. He's just a rich man. The way he dresses, the kind of food he eats. And yet, he was insensitive to this man who was by the east gate. We can't plead ignorance, my dear people of God, to the need of our brothers and sisters. We have to extend our helping hand to them, especially this time of Lent, we are called upon that let this journey of 40 days be a moment of transformation, be a moment of trust in God. And God will know you by your name, and he will love you. Not like this rich man that even we don't know his name. So let us always trust in God. When you read about this story, it's really a devastating one. The kind of the life this poor man is living, the kind of clothes he's putting on, even the dogs come and lick what? His souls. But both of them died. We are told the rich man was buried yet. But the poor man was taken to heaven. And now he's in heaven enjoying but mark what, still in heaven, <laughs> this uh, rich man even does not recognize him as such. He still remembers his brothers, brothers, the five ones who are in, on earth, and telling Abraham, please, I'm concerned about my brothers. Please go and warn them, lest they come to this place of torment. It's not a place of joy, it is a place of sorrow. Where would you want to be? We are given this graceful moment that we have to change our way of life. We have to see how we relate with one another. Do we give our time to our brothers and sisters? In the family where we are, sometimes we are insensitive to our own. Someone is in their need. You forget even to talk to him, to encourage him or her, to make her feel that I'm part and parcel of this. When you do that, you're the kind of person 
who is insensitive to that. Don't go far. Start from where you are. And God gives us an opportunity every day in our lives for sure to come to know him and to have that intimate relationship with him when we listen to the word of God. We read the scriptures. And that's why he's reminding these people that <clears throat> Abraham is telling them they have who? Moses and Pro prophets. Yes. We have people who can share with us the word of God, who can talk to us. But when they are talking to us, we are insensitive. We just say, no, please, can you do first and leave? What are you telling us? We've heard about this many, many, many times. You're the kind of person who is not listening to the word of God, and you'll find yourself there. So let us always pray that wherever we are, we have this moral obligation to be there for one another. And when we do this, you'll be counted as a blessed one because each and every one of us is longing to feel the presence of God in our lives. Your Christus, kawuni te mujiwa, ninya lobedo nga mugwedi katanga ma okuong. Nga mugwedi en ngat ma bedo ma chegni gijo ma oknyal tamuantire. Jok ma tiyogi pa mar paro. Ina eno ningane, atiyogi wanga, nyasayo mi wangi mundi ni ningane, duwaro konyi, benda nyalo dire ma konyi. Winjo, somori nyisi ni ngat mo nika a mo knyal around this place. I winjo, angomi timo. Omiwa this senses mo dwa tigo. To wan wa dwa blok gi, mo wangire kaka wan kaka dak, nyasayo gweda nike chan godo, adak ma ber, an gen oko gwedi gi nike chino gitio matek, no gisomo, kandalo mana wa somo, gen baba gene timango wa? Kani won wa somo, baba gene lao to, mdong. Ndalo mana wa somo gen negeni? Negeni, no mago gikimaji nike chine no ni ahan godo. Tinyi sonike kwa bedi kamano, wanjo Christus, wabedi jo makare, wabti mpogore, wanyisi jini wanjo mwagwedi, kwa wabedi machiki ni kijomo kinyalo. Tomolo yosani, samar lent, wakonji uru, and our moral obligation, and tijuwa mwondo watimano. Toka timu mwanjo Christus, wabiru idu tuolo marbedo, gi Abraham, gi Lazaro, e pinyu rothu polo, kama ni tiri morrelo. Toko poni timu mpogo record, manya saidu waro, Wadi bedo jok manitie match mokto. Ini duwaro ni bedi kanyi. Kurimi watulo ni yedi jok Christus. Mwondo wa par. Wangingi mawa. Nitungi mwa chalona de. Kawa wachinu wa ero nyasai. Kendu wa geno kume. Kiki wachi wa chaki dogi. Loke mwondo bedi angawa. E team. Loke mwondo bedi team. Mwami wangi tuolo maber. Marbedo jomo ogwedi. Kwa somo muma. Kwa winjo misa matakatifu. Kwa dhia sakramit marpent nisia. Kwa watuwe yochiemo. Kawa lemo zaidi. Kitimu magie ndijo krisus. Idhibidunga mugwedi. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu.